Hey YouTube, I'm gonna make a quick video today, or tonight, it's probably gonna be dark before it's finished, of um, <clears throat> we're gonna go over the rear e-brake on uh, an E250. Um, this may apply to other Econoline series vans, um, but mine is a 4.6 liter E250. Uh, I've already done the brake change, um, spray painted my calipers, compressed the pistons, and put new pads in here. I greased these, um, as well as obviously changed the rotor. Um, but I realized after I did the opposite side that I adjusted something incorrectly on this side. So I have to disassemble and adjust it correctly. Uh, so I'm gonna touch base on a couple things with um, changing your brakes on these, although you can find videos on how to work on brakes. This is pretty much the same on any caliper setup brake system on any car uh, or truck or van or whatever. Um, the e-brake in this is kind of interesting. Um, it's housed inside of here, kind of like a drum brake system would work, uh, except there is no uh, wheel cylinder um, with brake fluid in it. The drum brakes on this unit is all mechanical, so I'm gonna touch base on basically just how to adjust them and um, yeah that's pretty much it so when I get a little bit further into this I will um, I'll show you guys from there uh, we have to pull this there's a bracket here and then you can get at the uh, the caliper to be able to pull it off I think my caliper might be compressed so it's gonna be interesting for me to get it off because I did bleed my brake system as well so I'll come back to you when I have a little bit uh, more off here okay guys so I uh, already pulled the caliper. Um, I couldn't find a deep 18 mil socket that I needed to get uh, these bolts out here. Um, so I had to run and grab that. Had to wait till the next day. So here we are. We're gonna touch base on. Uh, I guess I'll do the caliper while I'm here too. I'll talk about how to do the caliper install with the new pads, and uh, we're gonna discuss the. Uh, the brake drum here too, um, the mechanical system. So I'm gonna set this down, pull the caliper off, or I'm sorry, pull the brake drum off. All right, so this is what your emergency brake setup looks like here. Um, looks like a typical brake setup would. Um, if this were just uh, rear drum brakes, but this would be drum disc without a wheel cylinder, so there's no brake fluid going into here. Um, all you have to do to adjust these is there's a little star wheel. I believe on this side it's on the bottom, I think. Yeah, it's up inside there on the bottom. Um, you just want to spin that and watch the uh, pads extend out and you want to get them to the point where they're just barely not touching um, in this situation. Now in a normal install where there's a wheel cylinder, you would do them until they are touching slightly. Um, and you just want to hear like a really light grinding sound um, when you spin the wheel. Um, you can only spin it if both sides are up as well off the ground. Mine, they're not both off the ground, but for the E250, um, you just want them barely not touching that way when you step on the um, emergency brake these pads will extend out and uh, make contact with the inside surface of this uh, drum here um, so yeah I'm going to do my adjustment and then uh, we'll go over real quickly um, how to put these together as well all right, so guys, I'm gonna try to get footage of this. It's kind of a tight space. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see, but um, I expanded this star wheel screw out to the point where this is just barely too big to fit over the uh, brake pads. And then I'm just gonna back it off by pushing on the side of the star wheel that is closest um, to the inner axle there. Um, I think you can probably see the star wheel there. So yeah, I'm just gonna be pressing this in here. I'm just gonna be pushing this 
up on the inside. If you push it the other way, it'll keep expanding the screw, and you push it this way, it'll uh, retract the screw. So yeah, just do that until you can just barely slide this thing over, and that should be a good adjustment for the uh, e-brakes to turn on immediately and you to get full power out of your e-brake cable. Okay guys, so on to the caliper cleanup and uh, I guess addition to the, the brake pads. Um, these little rods with those little flanges are going to be inside of those rubber boots. You just push on that side until it pops and it should pop out of its uh, rubber collar and you just pull it out the other side. Um, be careful you don't rip the boot when you're pulling it out the other side. Um, and you want to clean these up. If there's any corrosion, you can hit them with a little wire wheel. I'm going to touch this one around uh, this side because it is a little rusty and I, I just want to keep as much uh, lubricant as possible inside of there. So when you reinstall, you want to put lubricant in there. I would use uh, ultra synthetic, uh, like that Permatex stuff, or uh, Soglide. Uh, I'm just going to use this because I can't find either of them right now. Um, but yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for maintaining that. You'll want to take a C-clamp with one of the old brake pads if you're doing a brake pad change and compress these cylinders. Make sure you open your brake fluid reservoir and uh, make sure that you have enough room for the brake fluid to fill up in the reservoir and you're not spilling it all over your engine bay by compressing that cylinder, uh, the pistons. Um, as far as the brakes go, you want to do the same thing. You want to reinstall this clip here and up here and uh, grease both sides of the contacts with Silk Glide or uh, Ultra Synthetic Brake Grease. And um, yeah, I've already done this with Silk Glide. So I'm just gonna put these back on. I, I had forgotten to, to grease these guys. So that's why this is all apart on top of the uh, brake adjustment we went over for the e-brake. All right guys, so I'm just gonna grease these back up and put them back in and uh, put this caliper back on, throw those bolts in first, put that plate on, and then those bolts, it's all 18 millimeter there. And then I have uh, two screws for the caliper. I think they are 13 millimeter. Um, to mount that thing back to the caliper bracket or actually I think it connects with the spindle here I could be wrong though um, but yeah that's uh, that's gonna be it guys all right thanks for watching